Obviously, some of the changes have been necessitated by injury, but can you just explain the other changes, which like the Evans brothers? And yeah, um, there are five guys starting this week that didn't last week, and uh, obviously we're uh, disappointed with injuries to Jeff Cross and Simon Webster, has, has forced changes there. Uh, we were always planning to make a couple of changes, irrespective of the outcome last weekend, but you obviously have to wait and see how the performance goes and wait and see uh, what happens in injury terms. Uh, we've got uh, two very exciting wingers, Simon Daniele and uh, Tom Evans, joining the team this week. And uh, Tom's brother Max came off the bench so well last week, he deserves to start. Uh, Ali Dickinson comes in at tight head um, uh, for the injured Jeff Cross. And uh, Ali Strokosh comes in at number six to prove the selectors he should have been picked the week before. What can those new players offer the team? Well, they're obviously uh, very talented young men. and. Uh, we think that they're exactly the sort of men that we need to, to lift our performance. We were bitterly disappointed with uh, our performance last weekend. Um, you know, it just wasn't good enough, and, and we need, we've only got six days to turn it around. Uh, but that's exactly what we believe we're going to do with the sort of preparation we've had this week. What went wrong against Wales? Have you had a chance to identify the, the main problems? Yeah, I mean, obviously we had a very exhaustive debrief on the Monday. No punches pulled. Um, there was a lot of honesty in it. We, we have a very good picture of what we need to do this week and, and everything we talked about was related to the, what we'll need to change in order to get the sort of uh, performance we need this weekend. So we're, we're very clear about uh, what we didn't do last week and we're equally clear about what we need to do this week. And Paris is a tough place to go to turn it around. Um, how do you fix it in six days? Sure. I mean, obviously six days is not a massive opportunity, but we were able to build on some of the stuff that we've done before. Um, Although we only had a, f uh, a few days preparation for last week, that's money in the bank as far as we're concerned and we're going to be a little bit further down the road this week. Uh, the French pose an entirely different challenge to the Welsh, they're a very different shape of side, uh, they'll be asking very different questions and it's important that uh, not only we do our homework so that players are aware of you know, what they need to do, but we practice and prepare uh, for the sort of performance that's going to give us a much better performance this weekend. What did you make of the other games last week? Uh, I thought it was uh, very interesting watching the first three games. Nobody's quite sure how the teams are going to come out of the traps, uh, least of all the coaches. Um, but what we've got to do now, uh, all six of us, is, is build on what we've seen. Uh, some of the good bits need to get better, but uh, any weaknesses need to be filled as quickly as possible. Just finally, I wonder if you can look a wee bit further ahead. You've got two weeks off after the France game. What do you see as the, the main challenges ahead in the Six Nations? Well, obviously, um, in a short, sharp tournament, we need to get a result this weekend because our, uh, we are determined to be involved in the latter stages of this competition. Um, in the two weeks that uh, in between matches, uh, some of our players will go back to play club rugby and we would obviously prefer to have them under our control, like the English, the, the Irish and the Welsh do. Um, and, and obviously that's a slight disadvantage, but we're used to that and uh, we feel we've um, got the sort of preparation that, that can minimise that problem and uh, who knows, we might not have so many injuries for the Italy game and uh, we might be able to pick from a, a stronger pool of players than we currently have.